Why do we buy protein bars? Ultimately, what we want is a convenient, high protein snack, right? I mean, if it's if it tastes good, if there's chocolate in it, that's a bonus. But ultimately, what we want is the high protein content. So what would you do if I told you that there's a product on the market that uses really poor quality protein in terms of its ability to build muscle, but also it may not even contain the amount of protein stated on the packaging. This product claims 16 grams of protein, which in itself isn't, you know, it's not fantastic. I mean, other bars contain 20, 21, 22 grams of protein. This claims 16, but there may only be as little as four grams of protein. Four grams, which is kind of pathetic. Four grams of protein, you might as well just buy a regular bar. And there's a really interesting story of how people came to realize that there could be only four grams of protein per product. What happened was someone took a batch of uh, this product and brought it for laboratory testing. So this was tested in a lab and it found that there were some products had as little as four grams and others had a maximum of nine grams. So it's a maximum of nine when they claim 16 on the packaging. And this led to a class action lawsuit which uh, the company was being sued for false advertising, basically that the packaging uh, claims were not accurate. So let's have a look at the details of that class action lawsuit. Defendant's labeling is false and deceptive in a number of respects. As a preliminary matter, defendant's labels grossly inflate the actual protein content of the product. Plaintiff's counsel performed testing on the product for protein content and it was determined to be far below the amount of protein claimed on the product's label. Based on plaintiff's testing, the product commonly contains between 4 and 9 grams of protein per 4 ounce cookie, far below the 16 grams of protein content claim made by the defendant. In short, defendant is marketing a high protein cookie that simply does not deliver on the promised protein content. Okay, time to reveal what the product was. It is... Lenny and Laurie's Complete Cookie. So you'll see here it says 16 grams, but there could be as little as 4 grams of protein in these. You'll see, look, it's empty, so I add it. I can't say they don't taste good, they do taste pretty good, but... Um, if it doesn't have protein in it, there's no point in buying it. The lawsuit, by the way, they lost and had to pay, I believe it was $2.3 million because the inflated protein content on the packaging. Protein content is just one issue with this uh, product. The other big issue is actually the type of protein they actually use in it. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll know that I talked about protein bioavailability, which just means protein usability. Not all proteins can be used by the human body uh, in the same way for building muscle. Some proteins are much, much better uh, at being digested and absorbed into the human body than others. And generally, animal proteins are used much better than plant-based proteins. Now, this is a vegan-friendly product. And it uses protein from peas, uh, wheat, and rice. And you'll see that the bioavailability, sometimes called the biological value of these proteins is much less than uh, whey protein, milk protein, um, egg protein. So I'm going to put something on the screen here. It's going to show you a list of biological value scores. So you can see that whey protein can score anywhere between 100 and 159. Eggs are 100, milk 91. And all the best protein products and all the best protein bars are going to be made from whey protein milk protein and egg protein so always look out for that make sure your bars or protein cookies or whatever it is you're buying are predominantly made from whey protein milk or egg protein you'll notice that rice has a score of 74 wheat has a score of 54 peas aren't listed here but they have a score of 65 so just compare that to whey protein uh, protein from milk and eggs it's a completely different uh whole different ball game Okay, so there are two big issues with this product. The protein content could be as low as just four grams, which is virtually nothing. The protein type is not the type of protein you want to be taking in to build muscle. Bottom line is, 
do not buy this product. Especially if you're training hard and you want to build muscle, do not buy this cookie. But do subscribe to my channel because I have some awesome videos coming up and I want you to see them. So please hit subscribe and hit the little notification bell so I can notify you when I publish a new video. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. P.S. I know I said protein bar in the title. And it's a protein cookie, but bar cookie. Come on.